data integrity and why can't the government employees get this straight? And this is a part of having everything digitized, which Trudeau has pushed through and demanded. And it makes logical sense. But the, but the problem is when this stuff happens, obvious stuff, and it's scary what this is. And let's have a look at this. So these are seven government employees, government of Ontario, and 10 cars each, I guess they took. So they actually get a cut of the car that is needed. And what's scary about this, you can see here, is that they give the drivers information. So if there's a certain car that's needed, like, like a list here, and this is the uh, Ontario 2022. So this is uh, November, posted on November, the top car stolen. So if any criminal organization needs any of these trucks or cars, they ask the government employee to tell them an address that's close to where the, the, to pick up the color, and they just like put in the order, which is so, so scary. And you can see here that they do this revinning number too fraudulent. So they actually change the VIN number and the registration, fraudulent vehicle registration. So they actually can change it so it's like legal, which is so it's so freaky that they that this even happens and you can see down here there's a couple of people here that have been charged with that so th this is something that's not new as well and let's look at something before and here this is a bit more in the past in july in july 2022 so the same thing happened over a year ago one and a half years ago 22 month investigation it takes two years for this investigation, Project Myra here, and I don't get why it takes two years that this actually happens, but it's the same thing. Service Ontario employees, same thing one and a half years ago, 22 month investigation, 215 vehicles stolen worth. It doesn't matter what the, what the value is on there too. The fact that 28 people, so 28 people get charged two years ago. The same thing happens recently, and it's not going away, this issue. It just keeps going. Then the suspects range, okay, well, it doesn't matter where they are. The fact that they actually do this is even more scarier. And this is the solution. Out of all the, you know, government training, that, and they do get government training, and I can't find a Canadian one. I don't really, doesn't really matter. This is just the example, the data science ethics. This is what... They need to take all government employees. They know the data that they are looking at and what is personal and giving away a, a name, an address, a car. That's way personal already to give that information away. And then changing ownership is even more fraudulent. This goes like into the CRA people. So looking, looking at these topics here, ethics, data ownership, privacy, you know, code of ethics why can't the government employees all of them take this course every single year and if they get caught on this number it is a serious serious crime a period there's no and this is so easy for them to do they can do this i'm not sure how long this takes an hour or whatever to do to click it yes do you understand the data that you 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 are looking at how serious it is and you can't give it up so this is a problem i mean looking at 2021 if i go back to that old example here of when that the latest one this guy in here so looking at the date here 2022 it took two two 22 months so 2020 and 2019 the investigation started so they already knew something was up it's been already three years and it's not going away so get everyone that looking at the Ontario Service Ontario, this is on Doug Ford as well, let them do that course. And I guarantee this has happened in the past. And here we have an example. Canadian government announces data breach here. This is in 2023, but this is not even Ontario Service Ontario. This is the government leaking information. Here's 100,000 Nova Scotians affected by cyber theft. So private information is being taken away. Now, this is not uh, employees per se, but leaving the leak open like this is just something that should never, ever be done. And it's hard to get everything digitized when stuff like this just keeps happening. And here we go, too. It doesn't matter if it's 24 years of stolen data, but this is just the point that the data is just keeps getting, getting taken and it's so going to be very hard to do anything digitized when they can't even get this part straight. 
And this is an example too of OHIP doctors using OHIP number and charging. This is in October this year in 2023. So the same thing happens with doctors that they take the number, your card number, and they just charge it to the government and the government pays inappropriate billing. Yeah. So you right now, you don't even know if your card, your health card, if a doctor is charging for stuff, just charges it back to the government and you are unaware of anything going on on these minor ones that you can see. And I'm not even talking about, I know I have to go to a doctor to get a specialist. And, but anyway, so in 2019 as well, do, Toronto doctor charged, you yeah, submitting false health bills. So this is 2019. And to get to this point, probably who knows, it takes two year investigation. So in 2017, and it doesn't matter that this loophole is open, that it would be nice, I think, that you could type in your OHIP number and just check if someone is charging and I, they could have it, um, you know, some secure on there too, because you don't want people just to put in OHIP numbers because I think from that number they can already start charging. But this is just an example of something that a loophole that can be open. And here also the COVID CRA employees doing this part. The point I'm just making is that there needs to be integrity checks. It's simple to do that every government employee has to spend an hour a year fill this out yes no yes no and if they understand what they are doing and this one's even worse that they're just finding a way to charge money back to the government this is not really affecting individual people but the fact that they can go in there and they know the loopholes and, and they see what money they given out and how people got away with it is scary so so to the solution do the ethics training it takes an hour and if they break it, then it's serious. And this is automatically into, you don't even need a court of, or whatever to do it. You have to take it. Do it every six months for all I care. And then I'm going to find out that government employees already do this. And uh, it's going to be like, what? <laughs> so they do it and they still get charged. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching. And I just wanted to talk about the data integrity and what's going on there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy New Year.